Okay, so the last time I saw you, we were talking about a little salsa event that was happening that turned into a big event. Yeah. So how did it look? Should people come to the next one? Absolutely. That was so much fun. Like, seeing everybody from the community come out, it was free. We had salsa dancing. And, uh, yeah, it just goes to show, like, there's something for everybody at Dueling Hall, so it was great. Awesome. And you talk about something for everybody. Y'all got some groups coming up soon that are going to be performing. What kind of music vibe are we getting these days? All types of stuff. I think you should come to the Rumble okay. on uh, September 27th. They're like a seven-piece New Orleans funk band, and it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, I I'll bet you're going to be running through the crowd <laughs> dancing with everybody. I don't know about that. We might have to see. What? But so, so the Rumble, I've never heard that. So y'all always, this is the thing about y'all, y'all yeah. always have people that we should definitely check out. Yeah. You know, after, if you haven't been to a show, you don't know a particular artist. Why do you encourage people to go to a show? It's cool. Like, we have one guy coming up on October 4th, Daniel Donato, and he's came to Jackson probably two or three times, but I feel like next year, he's gotten so big since then, we probably won't be able to get him back in Jackson. So mm -hmm. he just debuted at the Opry. Um, so just seeing his progression throughout the last three years coming to Dueling Hall is like, wow, that's why you should come because, you know, next year you might not be able to get him back in Jackson. So, so you're telling me some stars are being shown. They're, they're being made right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, so thinking about some of the best shows you've ever attended at Dueling Hall, can you go that far back for me? I can. I remember the first sold-out show that I went to at Dueling. It was 49 Winchester. And same thing I'm talking about with Daniel. Saw 49 Winchester at Dueling, and the next year they're opening for Tyler Childers. So it's playing in an arena, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, man, I wish we could have those guys <laughs> back, but it's not going to happen. Right. But they're great. So even if I don't listen to this specific genre, because, you know, people say that I don't listen to country, I don't listen yeah. to rock. What's the draw for you just for live music in general? I really just love the atmosphere, and you can meet people from all walks of life, you know, and have a drink and enjoy a show. Whether you know all the music or not, uh, the atmosphere is always really great and the people are nice. So that's what does it for me. Gotcha. Now, these are showing video right now of some of the groups that are going to be there coming up soon. And now there's also a group called The Kills. What do they sing? What kind of stuff is that? What's the vibe? They're like an alternative rock band and they're really cool. Um, they released an album called God Games that they're promoting right now. Um, and yeah, they're a lot of fun too. All right, so yeah. any other events that we are missing out on? Because, again, there are lots of concerts, September 27th, the 4th. And the kills on the 8th. Uh-huh. Yep. And then there's other things happening all around the Arden land. Yes. So not just what's going on on our screen right now, right? Yeah. Oh, it's all over the place. So you can check out Ardenland.net, A-R-D-E-N-L-A-N-D. Um, and it has shows from Dueling Hall to Philadelphia, Mississippi, to Natchez. Um, so, yeah, everywhere. Awesome. My last question has to be, what is your dream for Dueling Hall? Like, what would be the max capacity that you would love to see? Oh, man. I think it's really cool. Uh, like, the Kills, for an example, this is a huge underplay for them to come to Jackson and play a room as small as Dueling Hall. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really cool to have really big artists come play a small room. Um, that would be my dream. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And you know, Bob Rush even had his birthday there. So oh, yeah. It, it's beautiful. And the way y'all have the lights set up, mm -hmm. it's it's a nice vibe. I'm going to keep using the word vibe because it feels good today. That's so the best that's way to it describe is. it. Just a vibe. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So one more time, run down that website for the folks. And any other details you want them to know? Yeah. Dueling Hall is duelinghall.com or all of Ardenland shows is ardenland.net. Um, and you can buy your tickets on Ticketmaster. And that's the only place to get them. All right. Or call me. <laughs> Any place else y'all said last time is a scam. Yes. So don't even play. Just don't, don't, even, don't play. even do that. Yep. All right. Question of the day is, what is a book that means a lot to you? A book that means a lot is The Alchemist. It's about uh, a shepherd that travels the world and figures out what he wants to do in life. I love it. All right. Yeah. It's giving the, the vibe again. I feel, <laughs> it. I feel it this morning. All yeah. right. Well,